Hello everybody and welcome to a new Colorful RD Let's Play. So, if you couldn't tell by now, being on my channel for long enough, you probably know that I really like old educational PC games. So today we are playing a, another game from my childhood. A game that is extremely near and dear to my heart that I have a huge amount of nostalgia for. It is Reader Rabbit's Personalized Kindergarten. Or I guess just Reader Rabbit Kindergarten. There's a couple of different versions of Reader Rabbit Kindergarten. This was the version that was made back in, let's see, was it 2000? Yep, the year 2000. So, this was way back in the day. I got this when I was like four, five, or six, somewhere in there. And I remember bits and pieces of this, but I don't remember all of it. I just thought it would be fun to go back and play this again. And hey, people seem to like my Reader Rabbit uh, math journey let's play. I enjoyed that. So I figured, hey, this would just be a fun one-off. Anyways... We're off to uh, summer camp, I guess. Camp Happy Tales, hooray. What's your name? Find it on the list or type it in. Oh, I think I already made a test uh, save for this. So uh, can I delete my currently existing character or should I enter? You know, just in case it skips the intro cutscene again, we're going to have to... Uh... So I, I used to say Artie. I am now... A. A-R-T-Y-R-D. Space. Uh, R-D. T-H-E. The. Space. S-E. I'm R-D the second. Nope, I'm R-D the sec. You know, sure. R-D the sec. Here we go. Let's start. Hi. When is your birthday? Click on the arrows to find the month. Then click on the correct box to pick the date. When you are done, press the done button. This calendar sure is bringing up nostalgia already. And I don't think it really matters because we're not playing this on my birthday, but it is June 15th. There you go. Would you like the program personalized just for you? See, I told you it was Reader Rabbit's personalized kindergarten. I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know what that means though. Welcome to the assessment test drive. Answer sample questions from different activities to customize the game just for you. What? This seems weird. Hi, I'm Reader Rabbit. You we'll exist. We'll start off with a quick test drive to customize this game just for you. He does exist. A question will appear here next to the steering wheel. Then an airplane will fly down with an answer. When you see the right answer, Click on the horn. Okay, let's get moving. Okay, here's Reader Rabbit. He was not in Math Journey at all, but he, now that we're reading, we're actually here. Wow, this Honk is great graphics. You see the cans in order from shortest to tallest. Okay, shortest, tallest. All right. Honk when you see the glasses in order from the least to the most liquid. They literally stacked it left for, to right. Way to go! I know this is for kindergarten, but still. Honk when you see the 20. <laughs> Honk when you see the book above row B. Okay, <laughs> the, the, the 20 one is the only one I screwed up. I just thought it was going to appear immediately. The group of five cans. We'll find the group of five cans. <laughs> I'm real bad. I'm just like, I like honking the horn. Beep, beep. <laughs> I am dumber than a kindergartner. That's it. Our test drive is completed. <laughs> You're nice really stupid. Answering all of those You're questions. also brash and impulsive. Now let's start the game. <laughs> it's gonna personalize this to dumb it down just for me. <laughs> Do I want to play with the game starting at these? Uh, no, no, I don't. These are the different mini games you can play. No, uh, I would like to per personalize that myself. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, oh wow, the nostalgia. I remember this screen. Who's calling me at this hour? I like the lighting though. Hello. <sighs> This is Matilda Mouse. Oh, 
that's Spike. He's done it again. What am I going to do? What? You're up early. Who is this? <laughs> it's a wanted poster? It's me, Charlie, the counselor at Camp Happy Tales. <laughs> That pesky porcupine spike, he's hidden the things we need for the campfire party tonight. I need help finding them. Oh, and, and there's a whole busload of campers coming tonight, and, and nothing is ready. Uh, uh -oh. Help! Don't worry, Charlie. I'll be right there. <laughs> Maddie Mouse knows how to do math. She accompanied Come on, Wonder Cat. Pony. I'm Our sorry. friend needs some help. Wonder Pony? What? Wait, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> There's the camp. Here we come to the rescue. Since when does the mouse have a pony? I feel like I would have remembered that. That's either the biggest Thanks mouse the or the tiniest pony. pony. And then Wonder Pony just dumps us here. Oh, Maddie, I'm so glad you're here. We've got to hurry. It's okay, Charlie. Everything's going to be okay. I even brought a helper with me. Oh, she can see me. That's creepy. Follow me to the campground. Oh, well, I do like the hand-drawn animation. It's nice. Oh, there is so much to do. We need tents and food and camping gear and... Why don't we make a list? A list. Good idea. I, I've got helps. one somewhere. Ah, here it is. And when you find something we need, it will color in on the list. What about the party things that Spike took? Oh, those things are here, too. Oh, that pesky porcupine took Rita Rabbit's poems, Chef Pierre's banjo, Bab's book of ghost stories, Baby Bear's ukulele. He even took your songbook. We need all oh, no. those things for the party tonight. Do we? Anytime you want to see how you're doing, just click on this list. You'll see what you've already found and what you still need. Do you think you can do it, Maddie? Can you help me out? Don't worry, Charlie. We can do it. Let's go. Cool. Well, there you have it. So that's the intro to Reader Rabbit Kindergarten. And now we get the cool banjo music. So yeah, we're at summer camp. Apparently there's a porcupine criminal going around who's taking some stuff and we got to find it again. And apparently I'm so stupid they're like, maybe we should start the level one version for everything. Uh, who's this? Press Control P to access op. Okay, Clubhouse, Progress, Education, Menu, Speech. Speech recognition is off. Speech recognition? What does that even mean? I'm leaving it on. Speech recognition is on. Also, this weird gooey thing reminds me of something out of Math Journey. Background music is off. No, we background want background music, music on. is on. Educational benefits. Reading Rabbit Kindergarten reinforces skills that children learn in kindergarten and engaging storyline. Yes, ex if there's one faint word I would use to describe Reader Rabbit Kindergarten's overall story, it is engaging. It motivates children to work towards a goal as they explore 15 interactive acti- 15? Ah, uh, excuse me, I only see like five signs there. And two of them are blocked behind this. Okay, um... Can I... I did not want to go... Maddie, I just wanted to click away from the menu. She's like, I'm good! We're going to the diner! Hmm. I'd like to go inside, but there's a step missing. You can climb the stairs to this dining hall, but one step is missing, and you'll need them all. A step on the grass is the perfect height. So click on that step. It'll fit just right. Oh my gosh, the nostalgia is flooding back. I remember this, Crow. So our first obstacle, man, there are all these... I am literally reminded of, like, a summer camp. This, they did a good job of the atmosphere. Who is this guy? Hello, campers! This is Lenny the Loudspeaker. It's another beautiful day at Camp Happy Tales, and I can't wait for the campfire party tonight. Click on the step that will fix the stairs. Excuse me, Lenny the Loudspeaker was talking, and I don't appreciate you interrupting. So we got a bunch of cool stuff to click on. That wasn't that cool. Four and twenty blackbirds baked into a pie. But they're still alive, apparently. 
It's not as amusing as the stuff you can click on in Humongous Entertainment, but let's just click on the that step. That step fits! Hey, I fixed the stairs. Now I can go inside. Did they build a spare stair? And did Spike swipe that but move it like two... S Spike seems to be about as effective of a stealer as Swiper from Dora. I'm just saying. I mean, he is a children's villain, so bear with us on that. But, like, still, wow. All right. Well, there we go. Let's go to the diner now. Also, I love how, like, the camp counselor is, like, he lost everything. So he calls this random, like, six-year-old mouse to help him out and not, like, a real adult. I don't think there are real adults here. Oh dear, oh dear, what am I going to do? My kitchen is such a mess. As soon as I put away one delivery, there's another one. I cannot stand it. I'm pretty good at organizing things. I can help you get things straight. Could you? Oh, Matty, that would make me so happy. Could I help you too? Sure, I need some food for the campfire party. But of course. We are a team! Follow me! I almost forgot about the raccoon with a French accent. But he's he's a delight. That's, uh, I don't, Chef Pierre, maybe? Isn't he also the guy who went up against Chester the Cheetah? I don't know. Who's under the rug? Burp, 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 burp. Who is eating the pick? I don't think I want to know whose hand that is. Someone clearly who has had a lot of pickles. Because their fingers are stained green. This place has seen better days, but it's also seen worse days, so... Ooh, let's go to... Oh, wait, Lenny the Loudspeaker's here. And now, for my most amazing imitation of all, a wild jungle. I think Lenny the loudspeaker would simultaneously be the best and absolute worst part of summer camp. He'd, you'd, he'd be funny for like the first 10 minutes and then you'd just be like, oh my gosh, Lenny, will you shut up? It is 2 o'clock in the morning, we're trying to sleep. Did I mention I can do an impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> shut up, Lenny! Action reaction. Let's look at some pictures. Whoa, of where did you come from? At camp last summer, okay? Last summer? I'll put them up on the screen. When you're ready to see the next picture, just click on the screen. I don't click this. the go back button to go back to the dining hall. Here we go. Man, the nostalgia. One day, Spike and Baby Bear found the last piece of blueberry oh pie in Pierre's kitchen. It looked so yummy. This is like awakening core memories within me, folks. I totally remember this. Yeah, Spike and Baby Bear up here. So Spike is not an international criminal. He's just like a kid, I guess. But he's just like one of those bratty kids who you, your parents probably tell you not to play with. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, yeah, they, they have the blueberry pie. That does, that does look like prime blueberry pie right there. Like, when I think of blueberry pie, this is the exact slice I think of. Both of them really wanted to eat that pie. They grabbed the dish and started pulling on it, saying, It's mine! No mine! Well, this could only end well. What do you think happened next? Spike ran away. They saw two forks nearby. Baby Bear had an idea. Click on your choice. Okay, so it looks like we can... It's like a choose-your-own-adventure, but it's like guessing what happened last year. So, so do we think that Spike just kind of ran away with the pie? He's That's 100% in character for Spike. They're just like, wait, there are two forks. We could just eat together. Or it looks like Baby Bear is cutting the piece of pie. I mean, realistically... Honestly, realistically, I think what's gonna what would happen is that they're both grabbing the plate and that the pie would just fall on the floor. Otherwise, though, I didn't see two forks in the last, so it's probably not that one. Kids shouldn't play with knives, so it's probably just Spike ran away. They pulled harder and harder on the pie dish. But Spike pulled hardest. He grabbed the pie and ran away. It's mine now, he shouted to Baby Bear. Yeah, that, again, in character for Spike. Uh-oh. But Spike wasn't looking where he was going, and there was 
was a rock in his path. Cause splat! He fell right on top of the blueberry pie. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Now there wasn't any pie for either of them. Spike and Baby Bear were mad and sad. Bad ending. We already got the bad ending of Rear Rabbit Kindergarten. What would you like to do now? So, I love how... Try a different ending for this story? Or hear another story. Click on your choice. Oh man, we get to re time rewind and get the golden ending. Yeah, let's do, do that. What do you think happened next? Spike ran can away. We, can we skip this dialogue since we've seen it before? I don't think so. So I, I love how we just click on the wall, then it's just like the lights Maybe go up. Ra Rita Rabbit idea. materializes out of the voice, just like, let's talk click about what happened choice. last year at camp. And it's like, excuse me, Rita Rabbit, where did you come from? And why were you not in your own math journey game? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, what? Well, maybe they saw two forks. Maybe there were two forks. They were just out of frame. They pulled harder and harder on the pie dish. <laughs> Suddenly, they saw two forks, and they both stopped to think. Hmm. Maybe there's another way. I love the literal three-second banjo loop playing in the background. It's like literally a three-second like string of like banjo notes that it just repeats endlessly each of them grabbed a fork and started eating the pie but they had to eat fast to be sure they got as much pie as they could yeah yeah that's also in character faster and faster they ate blueberry pie flew everywhere yeah this this all seems very in character for children in a minute they were done but what a mess the pie tasted great, but they ate so fast that their tummies hurt. Ugh. Well, yeah, so it looks like they both, they, they got the pie, what but they didn't like really to get to enjoy now? it all that much. Try also, a different ending for this story? Also, maybe Chef Pierre made that or pie for an occasion story. and you guys just Click stole it from choice. his kitchen. Unless they're like waiting in line for lunch and there was literally just what one What do you left. think happened next? What do you Spike think happened ran next? Away. They saw two forks nearby. Baby Bear had an idea. Okay, maybe 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 Baby Click Bear is not a complete stupid idiot. Maybe Baby Bear actually is capable of logical thought. They pulled harder and harder on the pie dish. Probably not, but maybe. All of a sudden, Baby Bear stopped to think. I love how we, we have not even touched the actual activity in this area. I'll cut the pie. You choose the piece you want. That's the way you do it. Spike. That is the way you do it. If you're going to cut something to like split it between two people, whoever cuts the pie does not get to choose. Whoever cuts the food does not get to choose the piece afterwards. That is how it works. Spike looked very carefully before he made his choice because he wanted the biggest piece. Obviously. They each had their own piece of yummy blueberry pie. It was delicious. Golden ending. There we go. Mmm, that was so good, said Spike. Are you sure that was the last piece? What would you like to do now? <laughs> would you like to go back and get the bad ending again Try or go to the next door? <laughs> oh, Pierre is just like... Bruh, there's so much or food delivered here. <laughs> Could you story. please help out? Click on your choice. <laughs> Sorry, we're listening to Rita Rabbit give a, a class lecture. Uh, we'll be back in at two hours when his TED talk is over. One sunny afternoon, Baby Bear was blowing bubbles with her new bubble wand. Then Spike came by, just as Baby Bear had made her biggest bubble. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen next. Spike got a sneaky look on his face and pulled out one of his quills. He took a look at that big bubble, and can you guess what he did? Yes! Spike is a, a little, a little snot-nosed brat. Right! Pop! Spike is the main antagonist, and so of course he's doing that. Then Spike decided that he wanted to blow bubbles. So he grabbed the wand. Baby Bear wouldn't let go. Oh, gee, th this looks familiar. What do you think happened next? They kept on pulling. 
Spike waited for his turn. There was no way that happened. Spike had an idea. Oh. Uh, Click on kay. your choice. So, most likely to least likely. Least likely is definitely Spike waiting his turn. I don't know what the idea is. He's just like, I'll just keep popping your bubbles until... No, the most likely outcome is they're just going to keep pulling and it's going to break in half. They pulled harder and harder on the bubble wand. All of a sudden, snap! The bubble wand broke in two. Now neither of them could blow bubbles. And they knocked over the bucket too. They both felt very sad. That was 100% on Spike right there. What would you like to do now? Try a different ending for this story. How many story? of these stories are there? Okay, just Four. two. Here all right, don't worry, story. folks. We'll Click on your feel toys. free to fast forward in the video if you don't want to what see me want get happens? all of the endings for this Bubble Wand story. They kept on pulling. Spike waited for his turn. Spike had an idea. Is it going to be a good idea or bad idea? Let's Click do Spike waits his turn. There's no way this actually happened, though. They pulled harder and harder on the bubble wand. Suddenly, Baby Bear stopped to think. Hey, let's share. I'll go first, then you can have a turn. Spike's like, then oh, Baby I hate Bear this. blew some more bubbles. It was really hard for Spike to wait, but he did. That seems out of character. Your turn, said Baby Bear. Then Spike got to make lots of fun bubbles. And Baby Bear played with her favorite airplane. They were both happy. <laughs> oh, maybe that was the golden ending. Whoops. Because we're going back like in time to, to get the not so golden ending. I think Spike's just going to be like, I'm going to bubble you bubbles. Also, I stole the stair out or of the dining common area story. and put it Click next to an identical choice. stair of a different height. What do you think happened next? Two feet away from where I took it. They kept it's an elaborate pulling. plan. Spike waited. For Seriously though, like the nostalgia I'm getting from this is Spike insane. Had an idea. All right, here we go. Spike. Click Spike had an choice. idea. Read a rabbit stop. They there we go. Harder and harder on the what is Spike wand? gonna do? Then Spike stopped to think. He let go of the wand because he had another idea. He pulled out another one of his quills. What was he going to do with it? He bent the quill so that the top part made a circle. Oh. Now the quill was just like a bubble wand. They could both make bubbles at the same time. Oh, that's clever. Spike is a uh, budding engineer. They made bubbles all afternoon. Boy, did they have fun. Wow, good for you, Spike. That actually was a better ending. What would you like to do now? Okay, I've had enough of this, this PowerPoint presentation, this Reader Rabbit. Or... Hear another story. D don't don't you have some books to read, Reader Rabbit? <laughs> we Chef Pierre needs our help. We gotta go. We gotta go. Don't you wanna hear Lenny Loudspeaker? No. No, we really don't. <laughs> Sorry, Lenny. <laughs> what a mess! I cannot cook with all these things out of order on the counter. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From tallest to shortest. You don't get ca tomato sure. cans on the How same do I height. Please buy them both from Costco. The counter, They're all on the same then size. Then click on the place on the shelf where you want to put it. Okay, I understand. I aced this in the personalized Perfecto. area. Food for Chef Pierre. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Food for Chef Pierre on the shelf. <laughs> this is glorious. From longest. But what am I getting out of this deal, Chef Pierre? I mean, <laughs> I know I'm a six-year-old mouse, and apparently this is my job. Like, are we getting paid for this, or is this just a volunteer? Like, is she just volunteering at Vacation Bible School or something? <laughs> or is, are we getting paid for this? How old is Maddie Mouse? These are the questions Rita Rabbit Kindergarten leaves intentionally vague, so that way you have to fill in the gaps in the lore yourself. All right, that's one big cucumber slash pickle. Magnifique! Hot dog and now buns. for the food you need! 
first a bun. Thanks. Oh, but I that's see. That's not going it's, to fill us up. It's a no mm. problem, my friend. But if you click on your list now, you will see the bun has been colored in. I can give you more food later. I see how it's going. So we're not going to pay. Here's your order. <laughs> Here's your order, ship. Let's yeah. go. Are we just Please having a never-ending supply of like trucks coming on in? The shelf. From largest to smallest. So now we got some pie pans that appeared out of nowhere. Okay, so as we help Pierre out, he's gonna help us out by getting the food we need. So Spike, Spike the sneaky rascal. He stole all the, the food for the campfire party and put it on the shelf in the kitchen. I'm pretty sure Spike is actually maybe just helping out. They're like, Spike, can you help us like take the food to the kitchen so we can prepare for the He's like, oh yeah, sure, I'm here early. My parents always drop me off at like 5 a.m. at camp. They just can't wait to get rid of me. Sure, I'll help out. They're like, Spike stole the food. He's like, bro, I helped out. <laughs> I, I know this is easy. When I took the driver's so test with Reader Rabbit, this was the one area that I aced. Delivery. I was able to easily see a small. We can do shorts. it. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. Now. Shortest to longest. Okay, now things are getting a little tricky. So the longest is obviously the banana, then the ear of corn. This is slightly longer than that, and the pickle is the shortest. Perfecto. Bah. Yay! Now we get hot dogs. And hot dog. We get six yeah, hot dogs for, for the, the entire camp bus full of campers. Goodies. Everybody gets one tenth of a hot dog. <laughs> oui, oui, let's go. Please help me put I forgot all the of these on the shelf. That is glorious. <laughs> From shortest to tallest. Not widest. Shortest to tallest. Pierre, are you gonna help out at all? Come on, bro. Okay, that's the tallest. Then that. That's the shortest. And, uh, boom. Superb! Yes! Delivery! <laughs> we can do it! Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From longest... Okay, to yeah, but where shortest. are they going afterwards? They just teleport away. Good job. Perfecto. I'm so, I'm so glad that this is one of the games. <laughs> and I think we just... Ooh, yeah, the condiments. Here are some goodies to put on top of the hot dog. It is now magnifique. Yum. I will, it's nice to see Chef Pierre making the authentic hey, French Gopher, cuisine. Thanks for taking the hot dogs back to the campsite for me. Oh. Come fly Feather Airlines. First class seats are still available. Um, hey, Owl, what you doing here? Are you going to fly me back to camp? What the heck was... What? First Wonder Pony, now this? Thanks for the ride. Anytime. Glad to see you're getting the food for the campfire party tonight. Things are looking good, Charlie. Okay, then. Well, so if we take a look at our map, or our to-do list, I guess. Okay, we've only gotten... So I think there are four... So there's... Five different games. There's Diner Lineup, Counting Lake, Canoe Match, Number Lumber, and Get Your Bearings. So it's five different games, and I think each game has four or five difficulties. So we gotta play each game at least four times. So that's 20 games. Oh boy. Uh, should I do the level one version of every game first, or should you do it all at once? I don't even know. What does Lenny Loudspeaker think? Hello! It's me again! You'll love this one! This is my imitation of Pierre the Cook after he ate too many s'mores! Oh! 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 My tummy! My tummy! Doggone it, Lenny! <laughs> Why are you the best and the worst ever? <laughs> Freaking Lenny loudspeaker. He's gonna be the most memorable part of this Let's Play for sure. I'm almost certain of that fact. So what does this do here? Hey, let's go to the camp dance hall. A camp dance hall. Welcome to the camp dance hall. Click on one of the buttons to play your favorite song. And don't forget to dance along. Woohoo! What the heck? I don't remember ever doing this. It's an ant in the jukebox. Day. Talk, tick, talk. Can you hear the 
This is unlocking another core memory. This song, unironically a bop. 